enough, but let's find out for ourselves. Which duo are you going to be targeting on the field today? Jordan Fisher likes to smack talk. Jordan, I'm, I'm coming for you. Last time, Tfue took me down, so I think I'm going to try and take revenge on him. Well, I was practicing with One Shot Girl and Nick A30 and Chandler Riggs, and I know that they're going shifty, so you might catch me there. Targeting every opponent in the game today. Any, any, any chance I get to take a shot and run, <laughs> that's the name of the game for me. Take the shot and run. I don't want to name names. I got a couple friends here who might not see me coming, might see me coming. I'm going to be rolling around in a ball, trying to get some late game points, and then get some elims at the end of the game. So I'm not going to be really targeting anybody. All the 9-9 opponents will be eliminated by me, by the power of the heavy muscle from the Tonator. Hello, Fortnite fam. My name is PookieFace underscore. I've snuck up to the caster's deck to find out what being a Fortnite World Cup caster is all about. And to outline that a little bit for me, I have my friends here, Monster DeFace and Shio. So why don't you tell me a little bit about what goes in, what the process is for being a Fortnite World Cup caster? Well, it all begins with preparation. When it comes down to handling what is the Fortnite World Cup, you have to prepare. We're talking solo and duo competition here. Not only that, we are slammed with a pro-am. So you have to cover bios. That's what me and Shio do. We sit down even today. We go back and forth. We're talking hours of preparation on players, 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 players. And Shio, what are you doing specifically to help the casters? And, and what are you bringing to this broadcast right now? So Monster talked about preparation. For me, it's all about the back and forth. If the caster needs any type of knowledge on a situation going on in the game, I've got that. We have three screens down here. One has the main game on it. The other two just have information and a broadcast alert section. If they have a question, they ask me. I've done all the prep with Monster for you know weeks, days of cramming as well. And we just get to it. Questions back and forth, relay the information. And yeah, just behind the scenes work. So you're essentially the Fortnite encyclopedia then, and you are just relaying the information. I hope that gives you a little bit more insight into how our casters prepare and bring the World Cup action to you. Hey, I'm Seuss. And I'm Elevate. We're professional Fortnite players for 100 Thieves, and we're excited to play in the Fortnite World Cup. The most fun part of the journey is for me just growing as a human and as a person like having a good time messing around the best thing about being here for the world cup is the experience for me uh, like leading up to it all the experience that i've gained i can't have thought of something better to have been doing like this has been the greatest opportunity for me if you're trying to get better at fortnite just uh play non-stop find someone that you can stick with we've been i mean i know everything about this guy he knows everything about me so i think that's what's going to carry us in the, in the world cup if you're trying to get better just at this game uh, a lot of things are just like no you're not the best player out there and no you're not perfect at any one thing the game's always adapting it's still really new just knowing that there's always someone better than you and that you can always be better is very important i think for duos we I mean we're most definitely worried about arkham and falcon they're yeah. they're one of the best on the west oh i was like I was <laughs> oh yeah there's no way it's this heavy. Let it let it on me. Oh my god. Wait, I got this, I got Why? this. Why? Let go, it's let go, I got heavy. it. I'm so strong. Oh my god. Why did they make it this heavy? Don't no you know we're all like scrawny little gamer boys? <laughs> I'm going for it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, if I win, I'll definitely buy myself a Lambo. And then maybe my brother a Lambo. And then maybe my sister a Lambo. And then maybe my grandparents a Lambo. Well, if you're on weight. <laughs> maybe my father a Lambo. This is Seath and the world's cutest e-athlete. Make sure you rue us on, on the Fortnite World Cup. I'll see you guys later.
Fortnite World Cup preview day where all the pro players are here to enjoy the event. Pookie, what are you excited about? I've seen zip lines, I've seen mini golf, I've seen Nerf guns, Kitty. I also saw ballers. I can't wait to get into it. Let's go! We made it! We climbed up the mountain and we are preparing to zip line off into Lonely Lodge. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go on an adventure! I had so much fun here at the Fan Experience Preview Day. So did I. If any of you are going to be at the Fortnite World Cup this weekend, please be sure to come by the Fan Experience and check it out. But for now, we have so much more Fortnite action going on, so let's head inside and check it out. Let's go! Hey guys, it's Kitty Plays, and I'm in the Player Lounge, and I want to know who everyone's favorite skin is and why. I think I like I like I like the hamburger guy, you know what I'm saying? But I, it's a big target, but I like the way it looks. I'd say my favorite skin is probably the default still. I literally just randomize it. The the blow up dude, he's he's got he's the inflatable guy. The surfer dude, because I've been getting more eliminations with him. My favorite's default, because I'm a default. <laughs> the bright bomber, it's so OG for me. Me. Um, the rock skin, because it looks like me. <laughs> Yeah, I just kind of want to like look cool and appear intimidating because at five foot four in real life, I don't scare a lot of people. Lynx, because I like cat. I like cat. Yeah, yeah. That's my favorite too. <laughs> to eat healthy, I usually eat chicken and rice. I think that's why I play in such a high level. He is so innovative. What? Tell me what I was talking about. My name is Martin Post Anderson. I'm 14 years old, and I am Mr. Savage. Let's go, boys. in Norway. I really love the fact that I grew up here. Most Norwegians spend a lot of time outside. In the winter, I like cross-country skiing and slalom. But I think my favorite activity outside is playing football with my brother. <laughs> He's 17 years old and his name is Michael. My brother and I have always been competitive. We're always hanging out together, play a game of chess, playing ping pong, and it's always fun. <laughs> my brother has a big role when it comes to my Fortnite career. He introduced me to the game, so. Without him, I maybe wouldn't even have started playing the game. At the beginning, we played a lot of games. I was better than him, and then he just exploded and, and took over. He has insane reactions. He thinks really fast. Creativity gives me a couple of advantages. A grenade launcher. He's using it perfectly. You gotta place your structures quick. 
you gotta be fast. Especially in the late games of the match. The best shadow bomb use I've ever seen! Rising to the top of the mountain! Oh, oh my god! I love meeting my fans. They're super nice. The fact that I'm probably gonna have over 1 million subscribers by the time I reach 15, it sort of blows my mind. If you picture one-fifth of Don Ray's population clicking on my subscribe button, that's <laughs> kinda crazy. He's managed to do something which not many people can do. He's the world's best at the game. I'm really proud of my little brother. Let's go deep. My greatest passion is playing video games. I'm really fired up for playing in New York. I can't wait to see all my hard work pay off. Welcome back, Fortnite fans. We are gonna do something uh, very special. You know, it's been a, it's been a really cool day so far. A lot of action, a lot of fun things have been going down. You got a sneak peek at it there. I think we need to. I think we need something special for you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna send it down to Poogies on the stage, and she's actually standing by with some very special guests for a very special announcement. Thank you so much, Zeke. I am down here on the stage. I have Ninja. I have Marshmallow here. Guys, make some noise for these two. Put your hands together, please. Now, I just want to take a moment and talk to you guys both about what the Fortnite community means to you. Now, I know you're not going to say anything, Marshmallow, but we're going to have Ninja kind of answer for you. Now, you've been a part of this journey for so, so long. What has it meant to you? No, it's just been absolutely incredible to be in this position that I'm in and just to, to really experience how amazing Fortnite is and how far it's come from season one, before there even was a season, uh, to the last year's Pro-Am, to this year's Pro-Am, to the World Cup. I mean, it, it's been an incredible journey, and I think it's just getting started. So, But uh, I, I love this community. I love everything about it. We, we love it, too. So, you know, we love to give back to the community. We love to give you guys surprises and tidbits. Marshmallow, you have a secret surprise. Do Ninja and I have permission to tell everybody here about that for you today? Yeah? Uh, Marshmallow is going to be doing a amazing surprise concert on Sunday for you guys, so. It's gonna be amazing. So the concert is going to be at 1 p.m. Eastern for you guys here as well for you guys at home. Be sure to check it out. Thank you, both of you, Absolutely. for taking the time to talk with me. Marshmallow, you better go hurry back to your seat. I found a stick. I found a campfire. I have some graham crackers. I just need a marshmallow. So see you guys over there. And uh, Zeke, back to you over the desk. All hands on deck, Marshmallow performing hey. on Sunday. We get to be there, like here in person? Yeah, no, we're gonna be here. Uh, bro, I'm gonna be the guy at the front. I'm just gonna be like, uh, 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 uh. You, Hey, you got the moves, I got, man. Sorry, I was I'll forward. leave it up to you for the both of us. All right. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys are here, and if you're tuning in from wherever, you get to view Marshmallow in concert from here, from wherever you're viewing it at 1 p.m. Eastern. You can't miss that. That's amazing. going to be insanely hype. This has already been incredible. That's a deal times 10. I mean, oh, also, really quickly, Monster, I like how I left you and Golden Boy here for, like, two games, and you've already just, like, what is this, man? What is this? Hey, what? Well, you know, we, we need something that's clean. The aroma of pancakes, you know, keeps some calm. Wait, can I get this back, actually? That's actually a really good point. Anyway, <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get to that in just a little bit. Uh, you know, guys, we've had an incredible day of action. We've already got two Pro-Am games down. We've got two left to go. Now let's get you back up to speed just in case. Maybe you've uh, forgotten. Maybe you're tuning in for the first time. This is a very classic format. Top 15, top 10, top 5. The Victory Royale are all the placement thresholds. And every single elimination is, of course, that one point. Let's not forget, Monster, we are playing for charity. That's right. Yes, we are here. So you want to play for these placements. You've seen up until this point, it's been very intense. 
everyone has been giving it their all. We've seen it out there. Shout out to all the regions that have been representing as well because this leaderboard is looking nice. But here are the prizes they're fighting for. The charity, big first place, $1 million can go to your charity of choice. Of course, they're looking at a duos competition, they can kind of divvy that out. But everyone here is a winner, Zeke. That's right. And you know, at the end of the day, that's what this is all about, right? We're playing for fun. We're playing for charity. And of course, I mean, we've got a, 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 an insane roster of players from Ninja and Marshmallow, your 2018 Pro-Am champions, to RL Grimes and Airwax. They are your summer block party champions. Also, you're going to see Airwax on uh, tomorrow playing in the duos competition. I mean, We've got people from different walks of life all coming together and putting on uh, Peely outfits, because why wouldn't you, you know? And we saw Max Carver up there for a second. He's had roles on shows like Desperate Housewives and just a ton of celebrities here kind of showing face, bringing support to Fortnite, but also doing it for a right cause, which it doesn't get any better than that. Take a look at Ashley. And exile. Yeah, they're yeah. just killing it. You know, those Cloak, dance moves. Cloak, get off your phone. What are you doing? You're supposed to be dancing. Did you not get the memo? There it is. Give the big wave to Cloak oh. if you're out in the audience. Give him a wave. Yeah. Cloak, but if you are using your phone, hashtag a Fortnite World Cup. Tweet at Cloak. See, obviously he'll see it it's right there. <laughs> but, you know, show some love. But see, on the other end, you've got people like Lockham, right? Look at that. They're, they're forming a strategy. They're like, well, Cloak, this is the circle. This is where we're going. And then you've got some people that are just trying to accessorize, you know, do I want to look, which back bling do I want, which skin do I need to rep while I'm eliminating the entire lobby coming out on top. It's, this is just Fortnite, right? This is kind of where we're at right now. That's right, that's how it is, Tim the Tatman here. This is a powerhouse lineup we had right there for a second. We saw Doc Lupo and Courage all kind of lined up, good to see all the buddies able to be close by. This oh yeah, and uh, let's not forget Monster. In case you guys didn't know, it's actually Fortnite's second birthday. That's right, Fortnite is two years old. So hop in, play some games, there's some challenges. There's also birthday cake all over the map. Also, in case you didn't play the last time, there's actually these gigantic presents that land on the map randomly and you can farm them for materials. Wait, you got so things inside. Are we still going home Monday and like grinding? Yeah, no, absolutely. That's absolutely happening. I need to get the last fort bite. I need another 65,000 experience if we're, I want. We're going to make it happen. Me, Bala, Shayo, Z, squads, Monday, happening. We're going to get you that. Down. We're, we're going to get you singularity. I hope so, dude. I hope so. Man, but we are gearing up. The players are, of course, getting ready to board the battle bus. It takes a while to get up 100 people on the same bus, especially when you've got people like Tifu Cloak. Detonator up on deck. Oh, I'm sorry. Whoa, my bad. He's, my bad. I'm don't sorry. detonate him, all right? Keep calm. He's, he's been doing good so far. Whoa, the ultra the zoom fear. right there. You got Marshmallow there in the back. I mean, uh, again, Sean there on the left. So many incredible people. Uh, I recognize the pink and blue hair. I can't remember his name. Oh, Ninja. That's right. Oh, that guy. Clearly, yeah, that guy. Clearly a joke. I mean, what a, an awesome gift. Uh, don't forget as well, we mentioned the Marshmallow concert. That was a big, nice reveal they did. 1 p.m. Eastern. Be here or be uh, in game. You can watch it on Twitch.com, Fortnite.com slash watch. So many different avenues to I watch. Know, I know Detonator's been stealing the show, but, you know, shout out to Pai Dambam, a Brazilian YouTuber, told us that uh, he wanted to play his first Battle Royale. He won his very first match, and then he didn't win for two weeks after. Right, 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 <laughs> for sure. And, uh, yeah, man, let's don't, I mean, I can't stress that enough. That, that, that concert's going to kick off everything, right? The final day of competition, really looking forward to it. Monster, who do you think? Uh, so we've watched two games, right? I mean, we've had some incredible games. I think in that first game, Sinu just caught me off guard. He had control over the entire game. Then Jacob in that last game, he went head to head with Cloak and Tifu and he was the one that came out on top. So this feels almost like anyone's game, right? Anyone can come out and win. What, what have you kind of taken away so far? No, absolutely. We saw in game one, once I saw during the, the Pro-Am walkout, Sinu and O-King were in the running. I was like, oh snap, we actually have some stacked up teams here. We already saw what Airwax and uh, RO Grime can do. They haven't won a game, but they are in first place as far as we know the last time we saw the standings. Right. That just shows that consistency. We know these guys are going to continue to be consistent, but you know, at the same time, you saw Myth pop up at the end there. You saw Nick Merckx and Mario kind of pop up at the end as well. Aiden's still making his points in appearance. So everyone still has a fair shot, especially if you're in the, I'd say, roughly top 15 so far. For sure, for sure. There's only two games left. Yeah, for sure, man. I mean, it just takes one incredible pop-off game, right? You just drop like 10 eliminations, you make it even as far as top five, and you're just gonna be back where you need to be. 
trying to vie for that number one spot. Um, you know, I think for me, you know, I want to see more Sino. I'm going to be completely honest. Like, we, he's part of T1. You know, we've seen him on Qualifier Long. This guy's insane. Uh, I'm just looking forward to even more action. I, I'm actually curious. <laughs> wow, that's so weird. I was actually going to say, is Nick A30 going to show up? Because, whoa, hey, hey. We saw we saw Nick A30 for a while there. <laughs> I lost. The, I blinked first. The, I blinked the first. Death stare. Yeah, there you go. I blinked. <laughs> 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 Uh, no, I was actually going to say, Nick A30, you know, people like One Shot Girl uh, and Chandler Riggs, they, they are very... All right, everyone, first one to blink loses. Everyone in the stadium, here we go. That's right, don't blink. Cloak, don't blink. Oh, he blink. did it right there. We saw it. <laughs> he doesn't know how to play this game. He doesn't He's, know how to play. It's okay, it's okay. He tried. It's okay. You've got Xavier Woods here holding on to that belt. I wonder, do you think he would let me hold it, the belt? You know... Uh, it, it might just break something on you. It, it's heavy. It's heavy. Oh, man, uh, it's it's pretty incredible. Pretty incredible. Uh, you know, earlier on, of course. Oh, there. This is the. the I'm telling you, man. Chandler Riggs, one shot girl, two incredible human beings. Uh, also, I've seen Chandler Riggs several times now, uh, and he's just one of the coolest people I've ever met in my entire life. One shot girl, one of the sweetest people I've ever met in my entire life. Love to see it. Uh, earlier on, though, we did, you know, watch a lot of myth gameplay, like you kind of said. Mm -hmm. um, I'd be curious to go back, take a look at some of the gameplay that he had, kind of see things from his perspective, and see uh, what he's going on. And here we go. We can actually take a look at this. Uh, so check this out. Run me through this monster, because you were you were here for this. Yeah, we were kind of looking right through, and actually, no, we actually didn't get this perspective here. So just tell myth, myth's in his A game to see everything he's gone through his little journey there oh the cone so clean all the practice paying off oh. no no hesitation oh my gosh myth is in such great form here that's what i like to see at the pro-am showing up showing why he is dsm myth right he's been around the block for a while he's no stranger to competition good to see him in his zone here and remember most of the time he competes he's under the na west versus east right but now he's, he's on land, he's in the same uh, box with everyone else. So this is great to see him, you know, under fair circumstances doing a good job. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, let's be honest, you know, the only thing that ever gets in Myth's way is actually fall damage. Yeah. He's, he's an it's incredible player, but fall damage, just like Tim the Tatman, it will claim both of them often. <laughs> let's go, man! Get high, Barry! <laughs> yes! Also, Myth has this incredible dance. Do the dance! Oh. Yeah, dude, let's go! I cannot do that. There's no way. He, I, he is a significantly better dancer. I actually one time tweeted at him. I was like, "Hey, man, can I get some of those dance moves?" He tried to transfer them to me. Turns out that's not how that works. He tried to transfer you dance moves. He was, via he tweet. was trying to give me like a, a little bit of it, right? And it just did not work for, work out for me. But it's okay. That's all right. But you know, we've got uh, more players. We've got Mr. Fresh Asian. That's right. We kind of watched some of his gameplay. Tune into him see what he's got going on. I'd be curious to see some of that gameplay coming out of the uh, previous two games. There's so many people, man. So many people yeah, I mean, life we could look at. If you want to see more OCE, we got OCE. We have everything here under the hub. The pro am is I also low-key want to see more detonator. Yeah? You want to see more detonator? Absolutely. We'll, we'll get absolutely. that later, too. But let's go ahead and pull up Mr. Fresh Asian. Let's see what his journey was like uh, up until this point as well. And we got a nice little package of him. Look, just diving on players. Hey, you, cross the river. Nope. Oh, that's a nice little headshot right there. And he takes another person down. It was Greer Grammar. Oh, no. And this one, we actually caught this one live in real time. This is such a fantastic play here. Fresh Asian with the proximity launcher. Cracks open the build, puts the explode right inside of it. Catches white and squishes all the way through. That's how good he is. And, I mean, he's kind of put in a situation where he has a 1v2, you know. This is... This is tough to do, especially on a stage like this. You've got all eyes around the world watching you, and yet he's going to come up clutch. Now remember, it's it's there's a pro and there's a celebrity, but to just do this like as as if it was just two people who didn't know much about Fortnite, that's actually insane. That's 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 a uh, what do I say? Confidence at its best. Yeah, for sure. I mean, listen, there's there's great Fortnite players all over the world, and it extends way farther than you'd ever imagine. That's just proof right there, right? Uh, but, you know, maybe uh, we'll kind of see how things are going. Of course, you guys have been waiting for games. We've been waiting for games. We know. And guess what? Everyone is on board the battle bus. Game number three of the World Cup Prom is about to begin. If you guys here are excited, you need to get hyped right now because game number three is about to be underway. Count us in.
That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Game number three. And I mean, look at this World Cup battle bus, man. Here it is. Love that new Fortnite World Cup battle bus. And I love the fact that if you are loaded into Fortnite as well, you kind of see the feed coming up. So there are tons of new faces kind of tuned in here. Uh, Zeke, why don't you just give us a little rundown for everyone who might not know much about the Pro-Am or this, how, how monumental this weekend is for the, com uh, the community in general. That's right, man. I mean, we've had 10 weeks of open qualifiers for solos, for duos across six different regions. Anyone could play. All you had to do was hit 300 points and get the Champion League in the arena format, and then you could duo up, solo games, and try to qualify. We narrowed that down to top 3,000 players, and then from there, we whittled that down to only a handful of spots per region, and that has led us here. And let's not forget, earlier on the day, we even had the creative finals, right? Eight weeks of creative qualifiers. You had team leaders like Ninja, like Gotaga, Hand of Blood. These guys built these incredible creative trials. People went through, and then we had our finals earlier, where Scissors and the Fish Fam took home the W. But, you know, Monster, I think we want to focus in on this game. Detonator is already down. Whit Lowry has taken down the detonator. It has exploded. It is gone. Xavier Woods, Dank Officer over here on the left. You've got uh, Dog Dogby? Dogby? Dogby. Dogby. And, and Cody, Cody Walker. Walker. Yeah, Dogby. Oh, man. Coach for the uh, Millennial team there. But anyways, hopping on over to Dr. Lupo and Sigala here, who are in that little bit of Neo action we got here. Man, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> I have to give courage props. Uh, that video they made earlier, uh, you know, we, we kind of knew something. Courage was going to get back at Dr. Lupo in some way, shape, or form, but he wouldn't tell us what it was. Uh, I see you, Courage. That was pretty funny. <laughs> but Sagala, Dr. Lupo, they are here. You've got people across the way, right? David Williams, Wildcat. They're seeing the, the building over there. It looks like there's someone very close by. The Ooh. 65 over there. Dr. Lupo's going to send another one. And there he goes. Dante is down across the way from Chigua. And Edwin Hodge here is picked up as well. Nice and actually, Chigua's shot. actually going to confirm Dante. So elimination's happening all over the place. Yeah, that's right. If you're in Neo Tilt, you're definitely in for some trouble this is not the place to land if you're not there to kind of bring it all the way pedal to the metal you got to stick to your teammate that's what Sigala's doing here doing a really good job kind of sticking to the hip of Dr. Lupo so you have Wildcat and David Williams now saw Shatler rings and one shot girl one shot girl is going to get cracked pretty hard right here she's going to lose all that shield but no fear still backing up her teammate here the jump shotgun's great for close quarters and oh no has no mats now as well she, she can't even disengage properly I like that Chandler's kind of holding down the fort, right? Like, hey, she's very, very clearly identified. Like, I need to get back in this house. There's loot there. Maybe something can help me here. I'm, I'm very low on HP. I need something. Okay. Uh, well, that was not what they were looking for. Now they are both extremely wounded, just under 60 HP. Mora and Kalango here. They're going to try and, and close in on this, right? You know you've seen the, the white damage numbers come through. You want to secure these eliminations, put some points on the board. Ewok is going to find Alexia Ray and put her down there. 67 coming out. Taking a great shot right there, and he's going to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Can she clutch up? But no, it's not going to be enough for Chandler. Or one-shot girl, unfortunately. Kalango does hit every single shot right there in those final moments. And Kalmar is going to be able to save his team. Let's go. Elimination feed there. We also watched uh, Ewok basically and, and Jordan Fisher take down Alexia Ray and her duo partner Jordan. They have been full eliminated. They are gone. Dr. Lupo Sigala still here over in Neo Tilted. David Williams, Wildcat. They've just been kind of, it looks like they must have taken some kind of damage, right? They're, they're underneath that 100 threshold, but it's not by much. So either they like took fall damage or someone sent over like someone dr lupo accidentally sneaked in their direction <laughs> damage over on them. yeah man we saw a lot going on earlier a little bit of storm flips and could have really been any which thing here but wildcat's been playing games for a long time actually his dad introduced him when he was just seven years old in 2011 but looks like we're hopping over with vodka here and alexander who we haven't seen much of today so let's go ahead and see how this battle is going to go for them as they're going against ali a and aaron gordon who we saw in the field against uh, Jordan Jones and Alexia Ray, so that was uh, quite the intense match here, but Alexander looks like he's somewhat struggling. He's going to need to uh, keep his back of Vodka close by. I mean, they're facing off against Ali A. This guy is a Fortnite veteran. I mean, this guy is thousands upon thousands of eliminations. He's going to rip the shield of Alexander. Mark's going to find Elimination as well. There you go.
go. He is full confirmed, Alexander. He is gone. The question is, where is his duo partner? Watch Ali. Ali is kind of one of those people that's very big into communication, right? Trying to make sure, not oversharing, but definitely giving very important information. Hey, this is where I'm at. This is what I see. This is what I can do. My materials, my ammo. I need to cover here. I have this angle. Do you have this angle? Things like that. Super big fan of this guy. Yeah, absolutely. Ali A, quite the, uh, the you know, personality in the field. And talk about that. I mean, Vodka as well. Japanese YouTuber. He's been around for some time. A respectable player. Does know how to, you know, get down with it. But here, hopping over to Ellie. We're seeing him go with a large push here. And he's going to miss a couple shots, but he hits one right there. Turns back to Bill. Says, you know what? It's time to put the bricks here. Oh, he's going to have to disengage. And it's going to be enough. He goes straight uh, up. Oh. The sentiment was good. The angle might have been a little off, but I like it. All right, trying to maybe go and get a little bit offensive here. He's got himself. He's pushing coach. with the Yo, 24 he's going health. In. Right underneath he goes and pops oh. another one. Oh, he's got to be so careful. Wait, is he distracting right now, making sure his dual partner can get the angle that they need? It looks like it. I think he had a plan at some point. Said, you know what? Maybe uh, this is not the right move, and he kind of backed up there. But Ellie's showing that he is fearless right now. He and Neko, as Iparis is sitting just close by. We saw Faris earlier today in a, in a great fight against Jacob, I'm pretty sure. But Ellie is going to get knocked by Faris, who had the high ground right there. Let's see what Faris is going to do here. I mean, he does have the two chug splashes. He can get himself back up. There's the one. There is the follow-up. So he's got plenty of HP to work with. He also has three minis. But look at the, the AR count. 18 bullets. A single magazine is not where you want to be right now. Now, he did go ahead and drop Ellie. He, they need to go ahead, take some time, get the revive off. But, I mean, right now, they're not in the best position. Because don't forget, their weapons are not that much better. Like, obviously, Ellie does have that drum gun. He could put in some work, but we'll have to see how things go for him. Also, fun fact, his most recent album, Future, was certified platinum within the first month of release. Wow, that's, that's huge, actually that insane. That is a huge accomplishment. It's the talking first about month? I was going to say, talk about, right. um, you know, crazy a a adventures and, and, and travels and all that kind of stuff. I mean, the player they're fighting right here, Faris, travels all the way from Saudi Arabia. He's here. He's ready to bring it. It's Ellie. Dude, Ellie's got the builds, man. Oh, okay. So they ping out where they see the player is. But now he don't knows. forget. Yeah, he's back. He's doubling back. And no. Ooh, over the head right there. That player has a haircut. Right through the crack, that was so close. He if, that, if they didn't nearly jump timed over, it. if he did not jump over that, that that might have been an elimination. I thought we were gonna see a major highlight right there for a second, but Ellie, you know, he's got this guy in his sights here. He's not gonna give it up. And don't worry, guys, you guys are not missing anything around the Fortnite map. This this is the battle to watch right now. As Neko kind of says, you know what? I'm tired of this. He's gonna step forward just a little bit more now, and this is the commit. Even with the low health, they're gonna put it all on the table here. I mean, they know Except that his back is against. He's there. They know he's, his back is against the storm, right? They're just trying to make sure and, and make him uncomfortable. Look, he's out in the storm. That's kind of the, the position they put him in right now. And that this player's just trying to bail. Like they're just out in the storm doing their own thing. This is how threatened they are by Neko Kun and Ellie. Ferris, uh, I mean. You know, it's okay. It's not ticking too bad yet. It's only that single point, but he's going to have to make a really long rotation, and that's if they don't spot him out in the storm. Yeah, you know what? It's going to be worth it. He will be all right. He will live to see another day because off they have to run now from the zone. They don't have heals, and Faris is left to, I guess, go against these guys at some point or another. But let's hop in with some highlights from earlier today. We have a little bit... Like we saw, Dr. Lupo and Sigala just kind of coming up. And that's another player that's going to get taken out right here. And just showing people that, you know what? I have Tilton on lock here. I'm ready to control this place. It's Kyle Kaplan who goes down to Dr. Lupo and Sigala. Again, they were sticking together at the hip earlier before. But Sigala's down. And I don't think Dr. Lupo has the reboot card, unfortunately. It does not look like it currently. But look, this is Dr. Lupo we're talking. The doctor is in the house. He knows what to do. He's been in these type of situations before. One be the world, but that's okay. He's he's comfortable. But look at this, Tifu and Nav. Look at the, the the angle they have here. You've got Nav all the way in the back. He's sending sniper shots over to JT Brown. Tifu's sitting there forward, right? He's just saying, "All right, all right, JT, come on. What are you trying to do? Are you trying to you trying to one v one me? You want to try and one v one my dual partner that's way back there? He's got a long angle on you. I have the close angle on you. Listen, J T Brown is a professional hockey player, right? If you can take that kind of punishment sometimes out there on the field, you can do anything. 
Let's see what JT Brown can do against the World Cup qualifier. He's speaking his head right there. And Tifa oh. says, you know what? I've been here for a little too long. There's more, uh, you know, players around him. He's got to be careful. And now look, he has to use that launch pad because for just a moment he saw a player running up on Nav. But it's okay, they're back together. They're ready to try and work down on this player here. Looks like it's Marksman. Oh, that's, that's JT's partners. Okay, so they were actually trying to line a pinch. Marksman used the Shadow Bomb to get behind them. So now Marksman's going to have to leave JT Brown behind. They were actually split up in those moments right there. It was hard to tell for a second, but no, Marksman says he's going to take the high ground and start pressuring back here. He puts a shot down on Tifu, but the storm is on his back first, and JT Brown manages to rendezvous with Marksman here. So now they're together. He's popping his bandages, and yet JT, uh, JT and Marksman win the small skirmish here, if you want to call it that, because Tifu and Nav are off. They're gone. They, they, they decided it's time to beat the zone now. Yeah, and I mean, facing off against someone like Marksman, you know, the, this is a long time competitive veteran, right? Like this guy has been around. So pairing these two together, you know JT's got, he's like in very good hands right now. You know, Marksman's absolutely making the right call saying, look, we need to leave right now. We need to do this, we need to do that. Fun fact, JT Brown was the first professional hockey player to become a Twitch partner. That's huge. That's actually pretty cool. That's history. There you go, JT put, Brown. Put it in the world record book right there. That's one that cannot be broken. Is he solidified that. That's pretty cool right there. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, he's got the drift board. This is actually really good. He's going to be able to catch with Marksman and set himself back up. Look who else is here, though. Ninja and Marshmallow. They have got this on lockdown across the way. You've got Muselk. You've got Wax Motif. Look, this is Ninja we're talking about, right? You give him even a pixel, he is going to destroy your shields and make you wish you had never peeked in the first place. Uh, Ninja has been having quite the day so far. We talked about just being a little consistent will keep you in the running here. So far, no points have been earned this game, and that's got to put you on your edge, right? If you didn't pick up any of the kind of freebies in the early game, as it gets closer to that congestion, congestion later on, it's only going to get tougher, but Ninja puts down a couple shots right there. That's going to be 93 damage. That player no longer has much shield left. So like I said, you give him a, a pixel, he just rips your entire shield oh, off. Yeah. Well, thanks for flying in my airspace. Try again. Dr. Lupo, though, he's got himself that baller. We saw in that cocoon and his dual partner right over the hill there. So he's got to try and think this through. You know, do I want to take these engagements? Do I try and go for that top 15 placement? I mean, dude, he's already got three eliminations. He's doing very, very well. Oh, no. We we're about to jump in with Ewok, oh. but Wade takes her out right there as Wade is still in this game. Chigua is close, as is John. John's trying to see if he can get up here now. They've managed to take this hill and this positioning here. Jacob's still alive right now, as is Nick Merckx close by. I don't see Nick Merckx's partner. Where is Mario here? And oh no, Mario Hedzanja has been taken out. He's got a launch pad though, he's okay. Yeah, the question is though, do you want to opt to use it? You know, I mean, Check this you don't out. need oh, to. Oh, he's using the, the new Storm Sniper to scout out the next zone here. Notice how he kind of zoned in there, he, he looked at it, he says, all right, time to double on back here. He's got all the information. You gotta love plays like that, and all, he's doing it again. He's actually trying to get as much information out of that sniper as possible. Very interesting mechanic right there. Yo, I mean, look, uh, Nick Marks is a long time competitive veteran, right? I mean, shout out to the MFAM. This guy's been playing games since years of war. I mean, he is a third person shooter master. This guy is insane. And I mean, every single week we're seeing Nick reach new heights of a play, right? He's just continuing to one-up himself every single day. But across the way, you've got Dr. Lupo going up against Lachlan and Liam McIntyre. This is really rough. Unfortunately, Dr. Lupo is caught in the most toxic gas here. He has chipped down to almost nothing. Another stink bomb is going to be his demise. Unfortunately, he is picked off. But I mean, if it's going to be to someone, Lachlan's, you know, that's fine. I'm cool with that. You know, that, that was a respectable takedown right there. Lachlan and Liam McIntyre just using the perfect stinkers right there. Unfortunately, you cannot dodge those. That is, you know, kind of it right there as they seal the deal. But they get themselves a baller out of it as well. And now they're going to be able to make it to the next zone as it's just at uh, Neo Tilted here. You can see the map on the bottom right-hand corner. Neo Tilted is extremely congested. Players are just toppling on top of it. We're now back with Nick Merckx here. Nick Merckx already has the scoop on the storm, right? He's got the, right. the sniper to tell it. Look, he's right in the middle as well. I was going to say, why doesn't he just put that to use, right? I mean, you've got 
a utility weapon that just rips people's faces off. Why not just go ahead and use that weapon? It's in your inventory. Also, let's point out the five chug splashes, by the way. So he's ready to go, right? He's like, look, I'll fight you. I'll just disengage. Use this to just replenish myself. You know, it's you just got to do it, right? Yeah, Nick Merckson can literally take on a team right now and, and, and be okay, especially with the chug splashes being that you don't have to have a cooldown for him. You activate them right away. Talk about you know, people that are in good position. I mean, Ninja Marshmallow in a sweet spot here as well. They have the high ground. They also have the slip nearby. So everyone in Tilted, or nearby the slip, I should say, is just fine here. And look, we saw Faris earlier today. He's managed to stay alive. He's made it all the way to Tilted Towers, even without the heals. So he's still in it. Slayer 360 also still in the game. We saw a lot of him kind of sneaking around at different times. Dink Ops and Xavier Woods off in the distance there. Nick 830 still alive. Let's take a look at this little highlight from earlier. It's Airwalks, man. Airwalks so good. They, he, this duo actually is your summer block party Pro-Am champions, and they are back to try and defend their title. Figures if anyone's going to stand in their way, it's going to be Ninja and Marshmallow, the 2018 Pro-Am champions. I like the way they've just kind of double boxed up. Like you said, man, they're just locking this down. They've got the angles. They're just ready to play. They want someone to try and challenge them because they're in such a strong position. Nick 830 though, he is just chilling on the side of the mountain. You've got Myth down below, Wildcats over the hill right now. I mean, there's quite a bit of talent all very near each other that at some point are gonna have to open up their boxes and say hello to the other person. Even Sino is here as well. My goodness, Lachlan, Liam McIntyre, Grime, Airwax, there's so much. Tifu is here as well with Nav. Joey is there, he's a little wounded, but listen, he's still my fire. He's got his uh, dual partner expertise. Did you catch that one? Mm -hmm. You're too young. Never mind. Missed that one. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> no, guys. I know. I okay. Know. All right. Good, good reference right there. Thanks, man. Gotta love the music reference. Nice little double snipe coming out of Tifu and Nav. Yo, just pulling your leg, Zeke. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. I guess. I don't know what to say to that. But anyway, check it out. All right. We still have 52 players, 34 duos, Monster. It's crazy that we've seen the, the game slow down this much, you know? You would have almost thought we were basically watching the, the duo finals. You would think this is Saturday. Yeah, it's definitely uh, gotten a lot more intense as we approach the final games here. No one wants to kind of lose out, right? You want to get as much playtime as possible. Tifu utilizing a ramp overhead to make sure they skate straight across and not stay in the air for much longer than they need to be. For that reason, they're not going to take much damage here. He's going to be able to pop this next minion and just be A-OK -okay as they're still in the game. We got guys, Tifu's partner here, Nav. Let's make music as well, so... Good so Ooh. far here is Ninja Marshmallow just underneath them. Aiden Lost King's Rob, Nick Merckx is wait, in. Wait a minute, okay, so Tifu's shield just got ripped. You've got Aiden, you've got Nick Merckx, you've got Ninja, you've got Marshmallow. Courage, JD, Myth. Cloak, Wit, Larry, they are all occupying this same space right now. Rob from the Lost Kings, I'm telling you though, he's gonna be the one to come out on top. I'm not saying that because he is a good friend of mine. I'm not biased at all, but here we go. On with Courage, JD. You've got Courage, Sean JD. O'Malley, look at dude. Sean Everyone's here! Cody Walker's there, Claire gets picked up in the crossfire. You've got Wade up top, look at everyone just flying in on top of each other right now. Sean O'Malley is here to show everyone why he's undefeated still, all right? Been competing since 2013 in the UFC. Easier to prove a point with Courage. Courage came dangerously close at the summer block party, taking it all home. They are still in the running here. Two good games. These next two games can really be theirs to take. But we're gonna hop in with Tim oh, the Tatman. Wild card is active right here, right now. Now keep in mind, he's got no HP to work with. 57 really isn't that much. But this is Tim the Tatman that we're talking about. Why is the entire lobby? Just Tim, build, just Tim, just build, just build. Tim, just believe. <laughs> Nothing you can do and talk about Shadow <laughs> Molly. He takes him out. He was the prime target there. Now take a look at Wade here, who's got the high ground. He's got the flint knock to save himself as well. In a combat. It's a lovely 70 shot right there. And this is where the lobby begins to condense and collapse on itself. Remember, no one has earned placement yet. There's still 26 duos in the running here, many of which are solos. Yo, if you were watching, did you watch the elimination feed? Grime picked up O King, that is Sinnoh's dual partner. Tifu is actually going to be picked up by Nick A30. Wow. And Nav then turns around and says, Nick, not today, friend. It is not good, eh? 
And I'm just getting word we actually have a replay of the wild card that we're going to get to take a look at together and relive just kind of what happened. So, you know, it's difficult, right, with uh, situations I, I, like that. Wait, wait, I pay for slow motion in this part right here. Tim knows. He's smiling out. He's like, dang it, man. Be That's being a good sport about it. You got to love it. Aiden right there looking disbelief as he gets taken out as well. But now off of Cloak. We saw Cloak make that end game earlier in the last game. What Laurie is going to go down here. Cloak's got just enough help to make it all happen. His loadout is so great as well. Perfect shadow bombs are going to allow him to rotate here. If he uses the structures, he can continue the rotation for free. And that's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to get nice and far into the zone. Free baller here for Nick Merckx. This Nick Merckx is going to use it. Why not, right? He can get this free safety for a little bit. Dude, this is where Nick wants to be, right? He wants to be in the middle of the chaos. And everyone's trying to, you know, panicking, trying to figure out what they want to do. Nick is calm. He is cool. He's collected. He has zero so builds. deadly. Yes, that is also another thing. Okay, the baller is cracked. He tries to go for the build, forgets for a moment. He's got to find his elimination. He needs something, anything. The chunk. Oh. Wait, the way with the strap. Those were builds. Were those builds? Did you get them? Oh, it wasn't enough though. He had oh. to connect those shots right there. Someone did get dropped right above him. Zinno still in the running here, even by himself, is taking teams out. That's he Airwax. Just took out Airwax, which is huge for Sinnoh because they both have seven eliminations. Airwax has 10 elims, so he still does technically have the lead, even with placement. But the longer Sinnoh stays alive now, the, the, the closer he can be to kind of catching up and taking that first place. So that was a huge elimination here. Dude, now look, jumping in. Look who's still left though. Sinnoh, Sean, Symphony, Cloak, Jelty, Lachlan, Musuk, Seven. There's so many people. Mr. Fresh Asian, we saw the clips from him. He's on super low HP, but he might be able to make something happen. Look at this. Cloak is in a great spot. Symphony as well. They have health advantage. The only other person is Musuk, who's sitting on basically 200 HP. Sean gets cracked right now, Monster. Jelty wants to secure this elimination if possible, right? That would be huge for him. This is essentially a solo game here. There are eight players left and everyone is left to bend. The star flip! Oh my god, this could be so huge! Look at this space, it's occupying everything. It's forcing people up, forcing them down, making them have to reposition. Even Sean, he's actually safe somehow on the other side of it. Yeah, and Sinnoh doesn't care. He's like, you know what? I'm going to keep this high ground here. And Sean Ooh. actually takes some damage from the flip right there. And then Sinnoh catches that Elin. So that's going to be another one for him. He falls down and could not convert on Cloak. As Cloak gets another, and it's his high ground now. And he has the health advantage over the lobby here. Can Cloak see go from a second place to a first here? It's Musa versus Cloak. And Cloak gets chunked right there. Massive shield rip there, but it's okay. He's got a single mini. He's got 70 HP. And look, Sim is just below. Not much effective HP. Musel here, he's popping those Shadow Bombs, wants to try and drop out in an opportune moment. Wait a the Shockwave's gonna change everything! Cloak needs to land these shots up! He's got no HP, can he do it? He, he does. does! He takes out Musel, and that is a competitive player's worst nightmare, hearing those impulses go off. But Cloak doesn't care, he doesn't care. Even with the 15 HP, he knows he can't take the zone here. He has to full commit for the offensive battle. The last two players are fighting right there. There goes the trap. Limited build here. Jelty is down. Cloak, no help. Can he collect with the last shot? This is your opportunity. He's going to put the shots down here. Is he, can he connect? He has to make something. Neither of them have the HP. No, you can't go on the start. Nice job to Jelty. And unfortunately, Cloak C takes the curse second place once again in a back to back performance right there. But Jelty secures the deal in the final moments right there. All because he had a trap. Cloak had to back up right there. You couldn't do anything about it. But it was the hesitation that allowed them not to uh, see where it came. Man, to fall to likes of Jelty now, just want to make you well aware, Jelty is one of these players who's been vying for a spot in the Fortnite World Cup qualifiers, trying to make it here to finals. So this was going to be a tough fight. Unfortunately, though, both players were so low on HP. Once you kind of force them out of the storm, it's basically, I need to force you to take the shot. I need you to line up a shot for me and to try and 50-50 it. See, it was right here, the action came out, or the pressure down. But once he hesitated right here, that was where he made a fatal error. He just couldn't, couldn't play with the zone. He couldn't play with the zone. Very tough, but very well fought. I mean, let's talk, take it back, you know, when in Musel jumped him right on the spot. And Cloak said, you know what? I have nothing to work with, no HP. No builds, no nothing. I'm taking the fight. He was the one that came out on top, and that's why he secured himself the second place. Still, I mean, you know, this is a very big accomplishment for both these players, right? Jelty picking up the victory out. Three points from that.
I mean, Cloak popping off. You, I mean, I'm sure he heard you guys here, you know, yelling as soon as he got that elimination because that was clutch. Yeah, that was a fantastic way to kind of hold it down right there because Musilk used that impulse. He broke all the builds and Cloak took fall damage. Had Musilk just connected one more time right there, that would have been his game because he had the health lead as well. Yeah, right. And I mean, like you kind of said, that's kind of been the, the recent meta coming out of the competitive side of things. You're using Shockwaves to kind of reposition and just fragmenting builds all the way around you. So for Cloak to react so fast and clean up the elimination, mad props, seriously. What an incredible game, game number three. I'd be curious to see how the game shook up the standings that we'll take a look at a little bit later on. But I mean, what do you think, man? We saw some really big names traded back and forth. Tipu got shut down, Airwax got shut down, Aiden was picked off. I that, mean, that's what I think right there. That's one of the key turning points here that kind of happened in that last moment. The fact that Sinnoh takes out Airwax and you saw the look of disappointment on Airwax's face because I believe his camera had just came up right there. Is dang. And then to go down to Sinnoh, that's the perfect recipe for Sinnoh to take out the number one player who was previously in the lead and continue to push his agenda forwards. That could have been a difference, but Airwax did have a, a Elam lead at that moment, so. We'll have to see how things shake out, man. These games are insane, and this is just a taste, you know? You gotta think tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, duo and finals, uh, solo finals, they're gonna be absolutely insane. But for now, guys, let's go back over onto the top deck. Let's go hang out with Pookie, because she's got Jelty on standby. What you got for us? Okay, Thank you so much, Zeke. I am down here on the floor. We have Jelty. And we have a duo partner here as well. Now, I just have to ask you, what is it like to come to New York and play on this massive stage? Uh, it feels great. Feels great. Do you want to let him know anything else? It's I didn't get as nervous as I thought I would be in front of so many people. Once you're in here, once you're playing Fortnite, it's pretty much just like being at home, I would think. Uh, but did you have a strategy going into today's games? Because you are a competitive veteran. You know, you have played in the World Cup qualifiers. What was your strategy? In the first part, I tried to get to placement. In the second, I went for kills. And as in the third, I had a lot of grenades of humo. So I played until the final. So in the first one, I, I did a play free and uh, free for kills. And for the last one, I really just went for the win. So you just went for the win. You just went full send. So pretty much just like the qualifiers, right? Yeah. yeah. So I just want you to describe to me the last play that you that you had there, the last moments. Pues sabía que quedaba poca gente, así que nomás hice muchos cubitos hacia la zona y intenté trapear al que tenía arriba, pero no pude, pero se murió por la zona y gané. So I knew there were a lot of people in that in that zone. I tried to go up, but but I realized I couldn't. So I tried to go up the ramp and then I couldn't enter that zone. So you had to kind of adapt and adjust there, which you did, and it worked out well for you. Well, congratulations for being here. Thank you so much for talking to me. Best of luck in your next games, okay? Zeke, what do you think about these crazy games? Getting to talk to Jelsey, this stuff's unreal. Listen, it looks like Jelty might have been a little nervous, all right? But Jelty, I'm going to tell you right now, you're a slayer, all right? Don't be nervous when you're that dang good. Well fought from him. But again, we've got another game. One game left that is going to determine who walks away, the Fortnite World Cup Pro-Am champion. Yeah, I need, I need to see if Jelty and Gabba Reaver, the Mexican duo right there, had enough to push them all the way up to top 10. We're going to find out right now. Let's peer into the standings right here. Let's, Let's take see. a look at the standings. Let's see what it is, Zeke. Ooh. It's still holding the lead, <laughs> even after Sino took it over. But guess what? Jelty, Gabba Reaver, 
right there. The Mexican duo coming right up to the top right there. You saw Jelty's skills. You can't sleep on him. That cone was so nice in those final moments. But hey, Cloak with another second place performance. Yeah. Back up there. I mean, but I think the, the big standout right now is Al, uh, Airwax and LR Grime. These guys are still holding that lead. And this is kind of something we saw back at the summer block party. But let's hop on over. Let's see who is in our 11th through 20th spot. What is going on on the opposite end? Right now, remember the number 42. That's what you're trying to aim. You've got people like Nick from the Lost Kings. You've got Sean there as well. Simp is up there. So many talented players. Nick A30, you know, all these guys really need is a stellar game, right? They need to put everything on the table right here, right now. Whether that be, you know what? We're going to hot drop. We're going to find as many eliminations as we possibly can. And then let's go ahead and pick up the W. We got ourselves. I say that like it's an easy thing. I, that's not me. I can't do that at all. Yeah, absolutely. We got ourselves some really intense competition right here. RO Grime and Airwax is not getting this for free. It is very close at the top. Xavier Woods is saying, you know what? We're still champs here. <laughs> still champs. And in, in your heart. I believe it. Absolutely. All right. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the final game of the Fortnite World Cup Pro-Am is about to begin. If you guys are excited, let everyone sitting on this stage, let them all know, let's get hype, because this is it. After this, we crown a new potential champion. Can Airwax and Elro Grime hold on and defend their title and become two-time Pro-Am champions? That would be insane. Can Ninja and Marshmallow come up huge in this final game? Can someone else show up when it is necessary well we'll find out these players are dropping right here right now it really is a story will sinu win his lucky landing drop here and continue to put the rain down he had a lot of eliminations in the previous round but he couldn't break the next threshold four more points to close the gap airwax had 10 elims with this duo ro graham had three he had seven that's a lot of action they're not afraid to win these battles uh Wait, Let's see okay. what's up. We have Robles here, and Chiqua is gonna confirm. Okay, so they got the you know kind of alpha up on the spot. So you know what, we're gonna take this spot right here. This is their loop now. They're gonna go in and clean that. Nice little start for them right there. Yeah, this is a rough spot to land sometimes, right? Because you can have three potential chest spawns. Sometimes you get a lunk, you get the two there. So they're gonna have enough to kind of get them started. But man, do they need something else heading their way? There's quite a few spots they could rotate from. I got, a, from I got a question for you. So Chico actually used to be a console player. He played Fortnite on console. He actually swapped over to keyboard and mouse, and he's a competitive player on keyboard and mouse now. Did you ever, did you still play with a remote controller, or have you made the transition? Did you just ask if I played with a remote controller? I'm asking if you still do, or have no, you first of all, I've always played mouse and keyboard. Thank oh, you. Also, a remote okay. control is something you use to drive something else. Right. What is wrong with you, Monster? Uh, ah! You know, the controller. <laughs> no, I'm actually, uh, I played a controller for a little bit at the very yeah. start, um, and then I was like, you know what, I, I really want to try and just get better with mouse and keyboard, and so I dedicate a lot of my time to kind of focusing up with that, so. Now am I good? I'll tell you what, ask Sundown, and he will tell you the honest truth hey, right listen, now. I, I saw you in the practice games win that game over Bala. No one's gonna listen. Hey, that's what happened. But that, no that really gonna... happened. You got this, but let's not take away from Eric Slogo Gordon. Man. No, oh, <laughs> Slogo Man as well. He is down. Look at this. This is Ali A. He's like, hey, hello. I'd like to come in the house now, please. I need eliminations. Excuse me. I like what he did there. He's using those stinkers to clear out the air. See if there's anyone nearby. Jeremy Ray is gonna stick this revive. Even without taking out Ali, he says, you know what? You're safe enough. I'm just going to get you right here. He's going to commit to it. It's only a couple seconds left. Is it going to be enough? Listen, we'll man. find out soon. He's play he's been part of the movie It. He knows what true terror is. Ali is not going to be the one terrifying him from trying to revive his teammate. Over, though, you got Ewok. You've got Jordan Fisher. They are hanging out by Pueblo right now. And it looks like they're pretty kitted out, all things considered. I mean, they've got the bare bones of what they need to get themselves started, right? Absolutely. Jordan Fisher here does have a okay loadout so i say okay because he has a shotgun he has shield that's just enough he's got the disengage tool which he kindly shared with ewok right there yeah. giving her you know an impulse or a shockwave as well to make sure that she can also disengage if things get sticky here but it's all about getting that information look at the creep up as you know actually dead revel and oscar have been holding his spot down since earlier today and they've done a great job fending off every single duel that's landed here. No duel has been successful. I'm actually curious to see if they're gonna be able to win this early game engagement as well. They've been doing it so well so far.
I mean, it looks like they maybe don't want to take the fight. As far as inventory, they're in a similar situation, right? Not really much of anything in the way of materials. Loadouts looking super sparse. And the big thing here is those three weapons, gray AR, green AR, and that drum gun are all using the same ammo type, right? So the moment you start firing one, you are just draining ammo from those other potential resources. So they don't want to take this fight. I, th I think it's smart to disengage. It's not worth it right now. Let them have it. There's loot behind you. Just keep the ball moving. Yeah, true that. See Oscar just sitting up top there. Oscar, an Argentinian, Argentinian, excuse me, YouTuber who plays Fortnite, recently started singing. But looks like we're going to jump in with John here. Let's see what they have in Salty Springs, one of my favorite places. John Ha and Wade. John Ha rocking John Wick. Ooh. Huh. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I, I'm telling you right now, Pookie Face is the only person in, in the world that appreciates my jokes. I bet you wherever she is, she is rolling around laughing because she got that one as well. She also got my my sync one that you flamed me for. Cake! Oh! I would love some. <laughs> Look at that. Five HP and five shield. You like to see it. Wade is going to go ahead and try and get back grouped together. Oh, actually, he's trying to push Yoshi. That is not his same team member. Just kidding. Yeah, Wade's right up there. Yoshi is in the skeletal remains of what was the monster kind of battle that occurred. I didn't get to actually watch that event in game, unfortunately. Bro, you missed out. Dude, I was working on some things, but here we have Yoshi. I said I wanted to see what he's got with the uh, kind of representation for the caster squad here. He's still alive, and unfortunately, Freddy was taken out. He's got to use one of his two shadow bombs right now. He might have to use a second here. We'll find out, and nope, he just is calm and cool, says, I'm okay, I got out of there, and it's enough distance for him. Three things. One, you know Solari's a cool guy, because he is a cool guy, and I know him. Two, he's using the drift double pickaxe is even cooler. Three, they went to that monster spawn. That is actually the new hot spot. You can get so many resources and loot from that. And that's why you saw him go there. But Mr. Fresh Asian already five eliminations. <laughs> My goodness, he oh, is he just five. <laughs> I don't know, dude. He is tearing up Pleasant Park right here, right now. I like that he's even going that extra precaution, right? Like, hey, we know, we can see in the bottom right mini-map, there's no one else. These <laughs> guys have cleaned out everyone. But he's trying to make sure. He's like, look, I need to make sure to get my teammate up. We're going for the long game. Let's make sure we're back in this. Chandler Riggs here, one-shot girl over here. They're going to be disengaging. They, they've got, they probably have been seeing these people go up the sky platform. There you go. They're going to go ahead and sco scope in. Not worth the engagement right now. I mean, look at the loadout. Look at the materials. This so unfortunate. The, the two times we tuned in with a run shot girl, she had a drum shot. Here's a little fun fact. One shot girl wrote a song and made a music video about how she loves Wendy's. Yo, yeah, high key, Wendy's is dope. <laughs> if you disagree, I'm not really sure what you're we, saying. You know, you know what would be a really cool uh, username for you, Zeke? What? Fast food Zeke. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, Zeke kind of recuperates from that one. I think I might have broke something All inside right. of him. <laughs> With the joke, but it's all good. All right. I feel personally attacked right now. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong, but I feel personally attacked right now. Pow. Okay, power is here. <laughs> Goff is That's here. A, it's a great username, though. Honestly, it's clever. Fast food, Zeke. I don't know what I'm going to do with you. <laughs> Watch that elimination feed in the top left. Chandler Riggs and Ali Air are Ali, excuse me, Ali A are finding eliminations. Wow, my brain tried to put Ali A and R in one word. Let's not do that again. Now he's out in the storm. He is ticking down. He needs to try and get out of dodge if possible. But it looks like he might have quite the trek still to make. Exile is just up a, a in front of him there. Dude, look how far away he has to go. He's down by Lonely. The circle is over by Pleasant or Pressure Plant. He's got to go. Yes, he, needs he has something. A super long rotation. He does have Shadow Bomb, so that's okay. But with a player nearby, oh my, the aggression says, you know what? He's going to chop that build down right there. And it's barely held up, but instead he goes for the build battle. He's actually committed to this. Drops a great floor right there to block him out and commits all the way. That's one shot. Can he get the third? All he has to do is commit one more time. He's going to fall into the box. Oh. He's trying so hard here. He's already committed. That's his floor as well. He takes that, goes for the edit. And now in comes the pressure. He's trying to fall right inside. There is a nifty little trick, though. If he just walks right up to the cone, he can actually fall and slip inside and catch his opponent off guard. Let's see if he ends up doing it. Oh, this is not looking good, man. It's not looking Defense good. In. Oh, tries to disengage. That was not the play. He should have just stuck with it. He's got no HP, but look at Exile on 11, 10. That's another nine seconds before him. he's going to be eliminated. Ali needs to look up. He literally needs to look up in the sky Take right now. 
Does he see him? Oh, he didn't see him. He went over the hill. He's trying to get the angle on him. No way. Uh! Oh, it gets taken out right there. And it is going to convert to Alie because he did the last damage. And oh, no. Edelkov, we were just watching him. He's a 28-year-old Brazilian YouTuber. Just moved to the States. And to get taken out, that's so unfortunate. But now we're looking at Flake's power. Can he clutch it up for Edelkov, his teammate here? Should be the carry right now, and that's a great shot. Did get JT Brown, but couldn't convert. Nick, uh, uh, Marksman right there, so, so good. Connects with all of his shots, and that's the name of the game, Zeke. I mean, uh, like I kind of touched on earlier, Marksman is a very good competitive player. The fact that anywhere they were trying to go, Marksman was ready. Storm flips, stink grenades, drop down. I'm ready to, with my shotgun. Tough spot to be in. Look at this, though. Airwax, look at the loadout. Monster, launch pad, six minis. We've got shadow bombs. We've got the brand new storm sniper. We've got gold and purples across the board. Matt's four days. And of course, to top it all off, he's got the bush there for extra padding to absorb an incoming shot or amount of damage. Airwax is playing as if it's as if it's tomorrow. Well, he's not. like, look. I know, I know like Airwax is a World Cup qualifier and everything. And RL Grime makes music, but I, I got a feeling R.O. Grime is way better than we think. He has been doing no. so, so, so good, so good. So here's the thing. I actually ran into him in the lobby two days ago. Okay. I was like, hey, man, like, how are you, you know, you ready to go? Like, you guys just want summer block party. What do you think? He's like, bro, I've literally been practicing every day. Like, every oh moment gosh. I have, I want to be good. And that's what we're seeing, right? Like, it's such, a, it's such an amazing feeling seeing these guys keep up and really, you know, get that that bug for Fortnite that we love, you know, that itch to want to grind right there. That's a good feeling, but. He's a slayer. Back All right. Back. Fresh Asian actually brought back Desmond Chan from the reboot card. Remember, last time we saw him, they were down. Well, I think that was revived. Okay, so he, but he managed to pick him up yeah. and they're still in the game. And they're still in Pleasant Park, by the way. Dude, they've been locking it down. Look, Mr. Fresh Asian, oh, though, no. he, he had a shot go his way because his shields are ripped. And that's Jelty. That oh. is the winner from the last game. Jelty is here. Unfortunately, his dual partner has been eliminated, but Monster, look at the loadout. I mean, he's got a loadout that he, you know, it's, it's like a skirmishing loadout, right? I'm going to shockwave forward. I'm going to combat you a, a couple times. If you try to leave, you're going to get lasered. You're going to get beamed. If I need to follow up, I have the launch pad. You know, he's in a prime spot, but look at the builds. And this is how you know he's an actual competitive player. That's a competitive loadout. Most players in the comp scene will run a combat with an AR. You know, most of them do tend to run the dual weapons followed by utility and heals. So Jelty is a scary, scary player to be going against. And Mr. Fresh Asian needs to be very wary here oh. because Jelty caps a small lead. He's, he's going he's gonna to push. You see there, he had the angle. He saw the player edit down and he pre-edited his wall ready to take the shot. Now, of course, they had an extra wall there between them and Jelty. So they were ready. You know, there was no shots coming through. Gonna drop the uh, turret there. He doesn't need that oh, right you think, now. You think Mr. Fresh Asian is baiting the sentry gun right here? That's tough. It's hard to say. I mean, they obviously want to find this elimination, right? Someone in their face. Oh, look at look, Jelsey setting it up right here. No way. He's setting it up. Oh. He's pushing all the way through. Gets the backside. One. That's one. Two. That's on white. He's on white HP right now. He's got to remember. He's got to remember where that other player went. He's gonna try and isolate these guys. These are his builds. He's looking, he's looking, he's on the hunt right now. He still has a shockwave monster. He could still pull off the impossible, the craziest amount of skill. Look, and they're still they're still joined at the hip. This actually could be their 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 fall, right? Like this could be what actually gets them eliminated. They kind of need to spread out a little bit in case he does have that second shockwave. Jelty is clearly flexing the way he set up the ramp to bounce his body, you know horizontally, right? Just straight across, making sure yep. that he did not go upwards. It was a very, very clever strategy. Wow. So they used the heavy snipe. They've tried to go for the floor replace, and look at this. He was already ready. It's like he's in their brains. He's literally reading their minds right now, Monster. He's so focused, so tuned in. This is quite the intense battle. It's a 1v2. Jelty has already shown that he is here to dominate. What can Jelty do? I mean, he's got the grenades. He can start dropping Going them. for it. He's doing it again. Uh, Fortunately, this time it was a bit of an overshoot, but it's okay. He's out of the lines then. He has three builds left, so he wants to mess around uh, here. He does still Whoa! own some of those. That was huge. He takes one player down. Can he get the second? That's the Wow. All the 
duos you could have gotten right here. He actually got the competitive one. Mr. Flash oh. Agent is down. <laughs> and a little bit of a ton because I think he knows. He knows. He absolutely knows. He, he knows. He saw awkward. the name. He knows who he's competing against. And now the confidence boost is there. Oh, oh no! no! See him! What's he gonna do? He still clutches up Desmond. <laughs> Jam almost had it. So what happened there really quickly, Jelty peaked, but his character model was perfectly lined up with Desmond, who seemingly <laughs> appeared out of oh nowhere. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was actually so insane. Look at this. Watch the elimination feed. Airwax picks up Xavier Woods. Nick Merckx finds Mora there. And now we're back on board with Tifu and Nav. I'm, I'm not over the near I, instant karma. I know. I'm really not over it, but <laughs> here's Tifu laying down some shots here. Shield. Hit once right there, expert uh, thief still in it. Joey Fatone oh, is gonna get hit no. right there, unfortunately. He's gonna get taken out. Oh. And Sigala, Sigala's close Bye, down. bye, bye. <laughs> Here's an three play coming out of Airwax here. Look at the laser beam. Xavier was just pulled out of the skies. Unfortunately, that's just the way of the road. Tifu and Nav, they are in the storm. I mean, it's gonna be ticking for a little bit more, but oh, look at this, he's juggling medkits. All right, there, come on, don't drop it. There it is. That's actually really hard to do. I definitely can't do it. He probably wanted to keep the uh, the redeploy, but you know what? It's better to make sure you get into safe zone. Now he's gonna have like an empty slot, right? Once he uses the med kit, there's nothing available to him right yeah, now. That was why he wanted to juggle it, especially being that it was a five tick. You know, he only had that one opportunity. He couldn't make a mistake right there. Let's take a look at these replays coming out of Tifu. There goes Joey. Not gonna make the joke again. A 30 over on this player. A 74, Sigala is going to be picked up. Look, this has to go back out and confirm. And I like that he did double back for the loot. That is going to, you know, that would have opened up more doors had he been able to juggle both, but it's okay. And we, saw, we saw Tifu earlier today talk about he almost had a great game. He almost had a victory, but not having any heals kind of was his detriment. But this time around, he's making sure he's taking good care of his loot pool right there. So be nice and jealousy still in the game here. Running that double box right now, making sure he's turning up here to kind of hold defense and look for another opportunity, being that he's by himself, especially now. He lost uh, Gabo, unfortunately, and he's by himself again. Let's take a heavy snap right there. Didn't connect, but your bottom right is Air Rocks. Man, this is actually really scary. Jelty has quite a kit on him right now. This loadout is actually insane, and you can tell he's prioritizing those grenades, right? He's hanging on to the, well, he hung on to the three that he had back in Pleasant, so he really values that item. But on the other side of the coin, look at Airwax. Look at that loadout. Still about where we left off, right? The loadout of a king. He's got it all right now. He's got his dual partner, Grime. They're looking great on HP and shield. And let's not forget, they are in first place. And they they are your, your summer block party champions. They want to defend that title. This is the last game, and they've really slowed down the momentum here. They don't have nearly as many eliminations as we saw before, but Airwax is looking to change this as he's going for the box chase here. He has Ghost Sean on his back. Sean just gets on out of there, he pops it, and goes to the races. The Shockwaves is going to keep him alive for now as he pushes the wrong players here. Airwax still in it. World is their oyster right now. They have everything they need to win this game. The question is, can they execute? Will there be something that happens? Will some other, you know, duo take a step forward and say, we want to challenge you? You've got Ninja and Marshmallow, the 2018 Pro-Am champions across the way. Marshmallow dropped a half. On the other side, Cloak and Tifu. How do they keep finding this, themselves in a situation where they're very close to each other? Their minds are thinking in, in sync right now. Oh, nice play right days. there from Tifu is going to set it up perfectly to get these flows across. And look at the bank shot. So beautiful right there. Can he connect? That's one hit. He got quick. He goes down. He's going to convert the Elim. And off to the reload he goes. He's going to do it one more time. Here's one, two. Probably going to line up the shotty here. And he is trying to connect. He doesn't quite get it. He up. 44. But they're gone. And now you know for a fact that he knows that that was Cloak. And Cloak knows that this was Tifu. And he's saying, right now, this is not an engage. Yep. yep. We'll fight. But right now, it's not the time. They go ahead and disengage. Tifu now, they're, they rock it. they're rocking eight eliminations. That's eight points, and that's huge. They still have launch, they use one. They've got a second one, they've got it all. Yeah, they're so loaded right now. So, great play right here. Tifu's gonna cut across, we talked about the competitive player, specifically, long to run the dual uh, weapon loadout, and that's exactly what Tifu has here. Loads of utility, goes for the peak shot right here. And is that Airwalks he rolled up on? 
trying to find out right now is Tief is going for the water place here. He's better be careful. He might get punished in return here. He does take it, jump into the box. These are not his builds. This is a dangerous spot to be. That's exactly why he backs up here. He's gonna go back to Nav. Trying to relocate his teammate. Bob's all ringing out, but right now Tief is playing defensively. This is really good. Now, where is Nav though? Watch that little marker. Nav is somewhere on the right. These guys need to connect. If they can, you've got Sims down below. Okay, so Nav is actually one by one over diagonally. And it was Aerox who's right there. You saw that. Actually, I think that was actually Ninja. Might have been as well. Man, Ninja it was actually Ninja. Peaks. Yeah, yep, yep. It was in fact Ninja. Look at, I mean, <laughs> look at me, people. How many uh, fantastic names? Sean O'Malley, Tifu, Nav, Kurt, JD, Wildcat. You know, they were pushing Ninja. Marksman is here with JT Brown. They're already on nine eliminations. Wow, this is a huge game for Marksman here. And JT Brown, if they can snag this victory, we don't know what that top 10 is going to be looking like after oh. that. Dude, everyone said, this is game four. All right, let's go ahead and go full set. This, Showing is, their, it. this is it. Showing what they got, man. Dude, even Jelty, look. Jelty's still here. He's still hanging out. He's been by himself, remember, since Pleasant Park, and he's still putting in work. Marksman and JT right now. They're going to try and rip the shield off of this player. Two tags. There is the third. That means that player has little to no shield left. And look at this. The shooting gallery. Everyone flying around. White damage Loving. number two. Monster, they're out the storm. Can they be picked up? They cannot. So close. They were doing such a great job working together to lay down that fire there. And there's still more players nearby. He's trying to see what he can get. That was a great Ooh. shot right there. That one might actually convert, but it doesn't matter. He has to get to the next spot. And it does. It was Nick Merckx who ends up falling to the zone at that moment because he has so much damage. And look at this. Marksman says, you know what? You don't, you, you don't get that for free. He's breaking it on down right here. Marksman one. wants this, dude. You can tell just by the way he's moving. He wants his victory out. Now, keep in mind, everyone here just hit top 15. That's an initial round of placement points. Three for every single person on the board. This is huge. Aerox already has four eliminations as a team right here. R.O. Grom and Aerox, he's found someone else he wants to start pressuring. Those are his builds, though. Can he get this wall right here? There it is. Quick replacement. You didn't even see it. But just like that, it was his. That's a huge shot. Can he get the push through right now? We're looking at Aerox in the bottom right screen here. In goes another replace. He's so fast. It was Ninja making it look easy. And now look across the way. Marksman took the high ground. It does take fall damage. JT Brown and Airwax, they're going up, up, up right now. Down below, Lachlan, McKenzie, Ooh. Grime is still here. This is an all-out brawl right now, Monster. No duo is that close together. You've got Aiden. He's by himself because Rob was eliminated earlier on by Tifu. Lachlan's got himself caught in a box. And look, Marksman is using those chug splashes. He's like, look, now is the time. I know down below there is an enemy, and he is a threat. I have to be in the best possible Honestly, spot. Honestly, way to keep cool for Marksman. Re uh, recoups with this teammate right there. He's just regathered himself, used those chug splashes, and that's why they're the best heal in the game. They're just back just like that. Sean goes down. Courage also goes down in one fail swoop. And that was Aiden who picked them all up. And look at this marksman. He's still holding that high ground right now. Airwalks just got taken out by Aiden and Jacob. So Jacob is still in the running here. We saw him clutch a game earlier today. Can he do it even with no material once again in another game here? But it's going to be a tough one as Marksman and JT Brown are so healthy and looted in the high ground right here. Aiden actually wipes just a straight up wraps up Jacob right there. Dude, they have materials. They just use a chug splash between them. Look at everyone else. It's Lachlan and Aiden. Now Aiden picks up Lachlan, but this is a 2v1, and Aiden is not in the right position right here. He needs to try and come up. He's going to be taking a ton of storm damage right now, Monster. What can he do? He can't be counted out, though. Aiden is a qualifier here, even with the double raining fire. What's it going to happen? JT Brown has given up the positioning, and he actually connects right there. And JT Brown wraps up Aiden in the final moments of the Pro-Am in Game 4 with a huge game, 12 total elims for JT Brown and Mark Smith. Dude, well executed, you could tell. I mean, like, like you said, this is Aiden, right? This guy's been in situations like this before. He knew what he had to do. He tried to go for the high ground. Marksman, though, intelligently said, look, you know what? I'm going to block Aiden from getting this high ground. I know my dual partner has the angle. He's telling me he has the angle. Look at this. JT drops back down as Aiden says, look, I got to double back. Nope. JT is here. He is ready. And he lands a combat to the face for the victory royale. What a sleeper of a duo right there. JT Brown says, you know, I'm partnered on Twitch for a reason. Let me show you how I connect with these shots real quick. <laughs> That's exactly what he does. He was confident in the push, and he did a great job executing 
right there in those final moments. You can't ask for a better last game than that for another duo to kind of come up and really make sure that no one is safe here. Does that mean we've seen a, a different duel every single game? Yes, we have. That's what the problem will do to you, man. This is what Fortnite does to you, all right? What an unbelievable game that was. And it's crazy because for a while, that game was pretty slow. We slowed way down, right? Everyone's thinking, last game, wh what do I need to do? Where can I get? If not first, where can I push to try and, and get some money for my charity? You know, what's, what, what place do I have to kind of push for? to try and get the most first. Uh, yeah, well, first, yeah, of course. But I mean, you've got Airwax, you've got Harlock Rhymes, you've got Ninja, you've got Marshmallow, you've got Marksman and his dual partner, JT Brown, standing in your way. That's tough, that's a tough ask. <sighs> well, I think, uh, I think I'm ready to know. Are you ready to know? I'm ready to know. That was a great last game and it can, it can go either way. I mean, here we go. After four games, Everyone here in the venue, I think you guys are all ready to know who the winners are and Monster, I'm gonna allow